Mm. My stomach is killing me. That Chinese food looks fake. Playboy say and I'm back with another video before we get into this video on the left or right side man I'm gonna have my Instagram make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. This is my grandma. I'm gonna let her introduce herself What's up YouTube? Tell me your name. My name is Faye. Hey Simpson. And yeah, this is my grandma You want to tell them any of your social media Facebook? Facebook is the same Faye. Hey Simpson. So make sure y'all go support her on there. She got a business coming out soon So make sure y'all go do that Today we got a mukbang, and we, what did we get? We have egg rolls. Egg rolls. She got an egg roll, I think, right? Yeah. I thought they almost forgot. Can't be doing that with a cat and dog. Eat out of the box. Alright, so today's video is a mukbang, like I said at the beginning, but I'm gonna ask her, we're gonna talk about like a lot of topics. Why did this About life. It was out of forks. It was out of forks. <laughs> <laughs> like the Chinese place and ran out of forks. So yeah, I'm gonna be asking her questions, you know, because this is a crazy generation I'm in, and she in a whole different generation than I am. So yeah. So I'm gonna be asking her topics, stuff like that, and yeah. Huh? Yeah, she look good for 61, don't she? You can talk to him. She look good for 61. She don't even look 61. She look younger than 61 for sure. But yeah, let me know in the comments how old y'all grandma is. In the comments, put it down in the comments. But yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and my grandma is a strong Christian, so we gotta pray over this before we eat it. And I pray over all my food before I eat it, so we gonna do that. You ready? Mm -hmm. You wanna pray? Yeah. All right. Let's just we put nourishment of our bodies and our bodies for your service. Take out impurities in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Make sure y'all say amen in the comments. All right, so let me mix my food up and we finna get straight into this. But my stomach been hurting today, y'all, too, by the way. I told her that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know why I'm using a spoon. That ain't gonna work. Come on. In the room. Y'all want some? It's very good. <laughs> All right. Mini made in the cup. All right, let's get to the questions. All right. All right. So, first question. What is the like difference between your generation and my generation? Well, I think this generation, they lack a little morals and standards. For instance, like say two women mm -hmm. or two young ladies. 
I don't like the fact that they think it's okay to greet each other like, what's up, B? Right. I ain't gonna say it because I'm Christian, but you're not a female dog. Your mom didn't give birth to a female dog. So I don't think that's really cool when they say, hey, B. Right, and then I actually asked them why they do that. I literally had that conversation with them and they was like, oh, it's just a term we use. It's just how we, you know, that's how we communicate. And I'm thinking, no, you should have respect. Because to get respect, you know, you gotta, gotta give, give respect. So, you know, that's that's one difference between our generation and this generation. Oh yeah, I totally agree with my grandma. That is, y'all shouldn't be doing that at all. Um, I'm not gonna say I'm this perfect person. Sometimes I call my friends the N word, and I need to work on that. That's why I asked her, like, what's the difference between her generation and my generation? If you want to say that, like my pastor said, say nickel. What's up, nickel? Or ninja. Yeah. Ninja. Because, you know, that was a big controversy a little while back. Like, mm -hmm. why it's okay for us, the race, the African-American race, or the black race, why is it okay for us to call each other niggas, but when a white person calls us that, it's like, Mm -mm. Right. It's not okay. So at it shouldn't be okay at all. Because if you know the definition of it, I think it says it's a low down, dirty person. And in my eyes, God didn't create nobody low down and dirty. At all. Regardless, and that's not a word. Regardless of what they got into later on in life. So I need to work on that. And if any ladies or guys watching, you guys should too. Yum, yum. So, next question. What should a man look in look for in a woman? This this is all opinions, by the way. So this is her opinion. How she carry herself. Um, you know, is she well kept? Is she responsible? Um is she um able to stroke your ego? And she got enough going on with herself as far as, you know, her career, her career, her goals. You know, she's not looking for somebody to actually come in and do all that for her, but she got her own mind, her own set of goals. And you know, she's pretty confident in herself and she know her worth. Know her worth, I agree. And I looked at it, look for that in some women. Uh, and I feel like a lot of women on earth in my generation, when they're talking to guys, they stay focused on how much money a guy make and stuff like that. It should be all about love, not money. Like, that's for If you only with a guy for his money. And I think, you know, the way you carry yourself as far as how you dress, how you keep yourself. Our generation, I mean, we're not exposing all this cleavage and breasts and stuff. And, you know, our cheeks hanging out our butt, you know. Um... If you feel like that's the only way you can get a man or, you know, then what is your relationship going to be based on? Is it going to be based on the physical aspect or how you can satisfy me or not satisfy me? Or what is it going to be based on? Because you all expose it. That's what really draw him or, you know, and don't be so easy to jump in the bed. Like, you know, this generation, they sex, it's like sex. Man. And Focus. social media, you know, trying to keep up and, and you know, if you got a, a bag that you're carrying and it costs $3,000 and you can't even keep that in your account in the bank, uh -huh. right. you know, or they getting all these enhancements. Ain't no, nothing wrong with making yourself look good and all of that, but, you know, all Respectful. these surgeries and stuff, you know... We, we, that didn't even cross our mind. Of course, it might not have been available back then, but uh, like if you have some kind of illness where you have to get uh, whatever they, you know, I mean, where you have to have a breast removed and you have to get that, that's one thing. But, you know, ain't nothing wrong with enhancement. I like lashes, I like mm -hmm. hair, but you know, I'm confident in who I am. Period. Love yourself. Self love is important. Period. Self love, self care. Take yourself out, love on yourself, embrace yourself, all of yourself, you know. I don't feel, some women or, or guys, they don't know how to be alone. 
they have to have somebody always around them or they can't live alone. They need a living. You know, right. this generation, you know, they'll shack up. Our generation didn't believe in shack up. You had to get married. Had to get married. Yeah. Ooh. Well, and then you doing wifely duties or you doing husband duties. But not married. But you ain't married. So as the old saying go, why buy the milk when you got the cow? Right. Moo. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not focused on relationships at all. I just want to make it before my family, like my grandma or my mom is gone. I want to show them the world. I want to travel the world. So relationship is not my main focus. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? Oh, no. Mm -mm. You're young. Live your life. Do everything that you desire to do. Keep God first. Invite him in whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. As long as it's not going against his, you know, you don't want to invite God into sin, but right. you know, make sure you keep him first and um, live your life. So when you do get ready to settle down, you done done some things, you know. Right. I've seen a lot. Yeah. When I'm ready. Okay. Last question. Why? Okay. Back then, when you was. Growing up with your friends, did relationships work now, like more than now? Like, did a lot of people stay together? Huh? I think, yeah, I think they stayed together, but not necessarily because they were rooted and grounded and they have went through so much that they decided to work it out. I think some people stay together for kids' sake, but if there's abuse going on, is it really healthy for the kids? Right. Um, I think um, financial reasons people stay together. You know, maybe she, they were a stay-home mom, or they was just stay home, and the husband took care of everything, and they feel like they can't get out of it because they won't be able to, you know, financially take care of themselves. So right. they may have stayed together then. Whereas I think this generation is like they'll dismiss you forgetting that it is a covenant relationship once you get married and you should divorce. However, I divorce. I don't believe that um, God would want us to be in an abusive a relationship where we're getting our head beat up against, uh, you know, brains beat out or right. anything like that. But um, that's why you learn a person. You don't get married in three months, six months, or eight months. You learn that person and that person learns you and you, you learn their habits and some people think that's why they shack up, so I can see all their bad habits and all that. No, you just be honest and open in your relationship from the beginning. From the beginning. So, I hope y'all listening and actually taking this in. It's not going in one ear and out the other. And y'all actually taking these, her opinion in. Uh, Yeah, we eating Chinese food. My stomach hurting. That was my last question. But yeah, we on the road. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> I dropped some sauce on the box. We on the road to four K. All right, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why are you sound like you're coming from the family? The family just <laughs> mm. now to eat. This cabbage. Why is it hot? It's hot and it stinks. Yeah. Let it out the window. Oh, wow. I can't believe that. Put my stuff in the box. Why are you putting my stuff in the box? <laughs> <laughs> he like Chris Tucker. You want a box of grease? <laughs> <laughs> Remember he said that? What movie was that? Uh, what's the movie he got with Debo? Right? Yeah. 
Mm, he was with the argument with that Chinese man. He was talking that language. He was like, man, I ain't order a box of grease. <laughs> he said, you get out of here. You get out of here. Hey, you trust your bitch. Come on, why? You need my spray. I got I'm about to go get mine. <clears throat> it smells like straight doo doo. <laughs> sure, you ain't sharded it? My bet. Huh? My bet. What do you mean, your bet? <laughs> Okay, breathe. <laughs> Look. Oh, that's what it is. You know, like, what? Oh, it's like, what in the world? Oh, <laughs> 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 hey. You gotta say something. Um? The camera's still on. <laughs> the camera is still on. Well, I got my grandma, y'all. <laughs> got her. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> but the dad, like, super bad. Who should I get next, my mom? <laughs> Baby, it's, you got the camera on all that? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Why? I'm gonna cut that out. That video too long. I'm gonna cut the part me pulling your teeth out and stuff. I'm gonna cut it out. Oh. <laughs> All right, YouTube. Yeah.